box guitar lesson we're doing tasty licks for beginners three string cigar box guitar tuned to open g very common tuning big string is a g the middle string is a d and the first string is a g g d g so we're going to be concentrating mainly on the third fret fifth fret i might throw some other notes in there up higher up so tasty licks what's that mean well tasty something that grabs your attention maybe when you're listening to a guitar solo or a song something that's different maybe from what you normally hear so if we're in the key of g and we're playing blues we're going to be playing the pentatonic and this one right here is the most common place to start out so we're using the third finger on the first string, fifth fret, first finger on the first string, third fret, and then we're using the open string, no fingers. Same thing on the second string, same thing on the third string. Don't you you got to love these three string cigar box guitars. It's really easy to get the hang of this. Then you can extrapolate over to a six string later on if you like to. So, tasty licks. Well, if we stay right there in that box, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine notes, but we also have the in-between notes, which are technically not part of the scale, but they take you to notes that are in the scale. So those are really cool notes to use if you want to get tasty. So here's a couple ideas here. I'm going to start out with a shuffle. Just think of that as the main riff of the song. And here's a couple licks that you can play right here in this pentatonic. Don't forget you've got the in-between notes. That really adds a lot to it. A lot of people forget about those notes. They are not notes that are in the scale, but they take it to notes that are in the scale, which kind of doesn't make much sense, but anyway. So we're going to be concentrating on these notes, the fifth fret, the fourth, the third, and zero. So five, four, three, zero, five, four, three, zero, five, four, three, zero. So let's say we got the shuffle going. This will be your main riff for the song. So it's kind of funky. It's not your typical kind of dirgy, kind of boring. It's kind of funky. So that's your backing track. That's your rhythm, shall we say. So that's the first thing that came to my mind. So I'm sliding up from the third fret to the fifth fret on the middle string. And I'm using my first finger on one, three. Actually, a lot more going on here that meets the eye. Notice how I hung on that note before I bent it. That gives it tension. Notice how the first two notes were really short. how simple it is there's not many notes not very fast that's what I would consider to be a tasty sort of lick let's try a couple more here same notes same fret same string same everything well that's pretty much the same thing right well we're on the big string that's the low G if I play it up 
here. That's on the upper notes. It's exact same notes. So you've got the upper version of that particular lick and the lower version as well. Let's try something that's a little bit different here. We're going to add to this lick and we're actually going to play notes that are not in the scale at all. were not in the key. Well, they're not, but they take it to notes that are in the key. So try this. Extrapolating that a little bit further, we're going to be in the key of G, and we're going to do a slide up and a slide down on various different strings from the second fret to zero. Here's a backward slide. Remember, that's the rhythm that is playing here in your head. There's all sorts of different permutations of that one, but what I'm doing is sliding down. I'm pausing for a tiny nanosecond. Wait, that's redundant. I'm pausing for a nanosecond. So when I pluck this string, I don't go... It's also another cool lick, by the way. Super fast slide down. But I'm pausing on this one. So here's the rhythm again. Is that really a lick? Sure it is. I'm only playing two notes. Or three notes with the open. Tasty, right? Simple. Not a whole lot of notes. Not fast. So if we've got a lick going on, we can add that lick right into the rhythm. So I'm playing rhythm and a little bit of lead here. Not a whole lot of lead guitar. But it is tasty, what I consider to be tasty, which means I'm not playing a lot of notes and I'm not overpowering the basic gist of the song. Here's another one. So if you're doing a shuffle, you can add these licks in. It's not really a solo. second string from the third fret to the fifth fret. in that are not even in the scale. Oh, how could you do that? Who's going to stop me, right? Key of G. So what I'm doing here is sliding down. instead of which is another cool lick by the way 
super fast slide back. Or I can pause. So there's a lot of syncopation going on. Syncopation. Funkiness. And I'm choking with this hand. the second and third. So you're choking the open chord. It's just a very quick hammer. You can see there's just billions and billions of cool little tasty licks built in all over this machine. Here's another one I like. Walking up and playing the in-between notes. Again, same scale. I'm getting kind of funky here with that rhythm. You don't have to be that funky. You can do a straight shuffle. Let's just go ahead and try that. So, throwing a lick into that, slightly different than what we've done before. not a lick it's almost just changing your shuffle I suppose but third finger on the middle string fifth fret first finger on the first string third fret bend it up a little bit not too far pause before you bend it that's always a cool thing to try here's an example of using all of those little techniques right there now keep in mind I like to do this choking thing I can't play these licks without choking I just love doing that so I'm choking with the fretting hand it's a little tricky at first I've got several different examples all over this channel how to do this Obviously, the open chord, you're just going to be flopping your fingers down to kill it. That's how you choke it. But now, right there, I'm fretting with the first finger. The second, third, and fourth are flopping all over the place, but they're not really doing anything. Or are they? Yep, they're actually finishing the choke procedure. So I'm fretting with the first finger. See these fingers flopping around? That's all the choking I'm doing. You can do some cool stuff. Alright, I'm going to lead you out here with some fast crazy ass choking.
watching. Check out my website, jagshouse.com. Cigar box guitars just like this one. Please subscribe, spread the word, and we'll see you next time.